How's my singing voice going? Great? Okay, cool. Anyways, where we last left off, we uh, accessed the city of Nakron. Uh, well, I'm just getting my bearings here. So yeah, we watched, uh, or we fought a gimmick. A, a gimmick? We fought a gimmick. We fought a mimic. I'm thinking of the Sasha and Naomi video I just recorded. Uh, um, but yeah, we fought the mimic, kicked its ass, and then we fought the regal ancestral spirit that unfortunately said nope and ended its own life, which, you know, salute. May the ancestral spirits guide you to the Holy Land, sir, or madam. No, because why don't female reindeer have... I don't know. Anyways, salute. <laughs> Also, I was drunk out of my goddamn mind last night. I'm drinking right now, of course. Uh, oh, drinking helps me remain calm. You know, it excites the shit out of me. Holy crap, though, my fucking frame rate, yo. You guys seeing this shit? I mean, of course you are, if you're watching this video. So, I know there's an item for me to get here that ties into... Is it, I think it's Fia's quest line. Yeah, usually I wait a bit before. God damn, hold on. Let me just wait for shit to kind of load. Or maybe it's just OBS, because, like, whenever I watch the videos, they turn out fine. But, like, on OBS, they just look absolutely horrible. But then, like, once I finish the recording and I watch them on, like, my media player and whatnot, it's like, yeah. Frame rate's not the best, but it works. Let's see, I need to hop down here. Oh, hello! You missed. And you go. So I watched a video earlier on Facebook and it said like if you do a heavy attack and you hit the roll or the dodge button, you roll back. So let me try that. No, it doesn't work. Oh wait, wait no. Because yeah, that's just me doing that number. Yeah, I think that video is pulling my leg a little bit. I think that video was pulling my leg. Alrighty. So we hop down here. Yeah, then we run up here. That was an item I get. Dung beetle. What does this lead to? Oh, there's somebody praying. What you doing? I can tell you what you are doing now. You're dying. All right. I got to see what grandma got me. Oh. Okay. I got my mimics here. Which I'm going to treat like the one ring where like I'm going to be tempted by its power. And it's going to like shout shit in my head and be like, use me, senpai. Use me. And I'll be like, no, fuck you, bitch.
Oh god, I remember this fucking. Okay. Okay, uh. No, go away, spirit. Oh, interesting, I got those. Uh, let me just get the regular old bolts out. Let me get my old, uh, Daryl Dixon pea shooter out. Speaking of which, I gotta make my, uh, Walking Dead, uh, Tear Maker, uh, video again. Or the, I guess the remake. Or sequel, or whatever. Shit, we might. <laughs> oh, I thought it killed an enemy. Two-handing this thing uh, works. How the fuck do I two-hand again? No, it's not that. Uh... No. Is it that? How the hell do you two-hand? Nah, I don't think it fucking matters. No, aim at the, the ball. The ball. Aim at the ball. How the fuck do you two hand though? Is it? Nope. Is it in the control system? How do I do we or Well dash <laughs> attack something. Well I'm dual wielding my shield or not dual wielding my shield. Oh, hi! What the fuck is all that? Bye! Thanks for playing. What the hell is all that crap? Oh, she's a coming up. Turn that shit off. What the hell are you doing? Hey, ball thing, over here. Yo, I'm. What the hell is this clown doing? Hi there! Bye! Or, not die! Hi, bye, die? Dead by dawn, dead by dawn. Like, how the fuck? I don't think it matters if I dual wield this or not. I keep saying dual wielding when I mean two hand. I was talking about something and I don't even remember what the hell I was talking about because I got so confused on the controls and shit. Let me go ahead and chung that down. My little bubble. My bubble barrier. My personal bubble. It will maintain appropriate distances from me. Oh, I got larval tier. Alright, so I can... Oh, yeah, I'm feeling the sluggishness right now from this area. <laughs> Fuck, shit's just starting now to render. I heard you! Is that how five gum tastes? How about some blood gum? Some bloody gums. Not gonna lie, when your gums start bleeding, man, they even fucking start bleeding. I remember this because I had braces once and I got into a fight at school and just man. The dude the dude got one good hit on me, like on my like lower lip here, and it like hooked my braces onto my lip. Or my, uh, my gums or whatever. Now, I had so much adrenaline pumping through me that I didn't even realize it. But I, after the fight settled and, like, you know, we were all come down, I, I was like, holy shit, why is this hurt? And I'm like, okay, why do I, why do I show funny? <laughs> and it's just like, oh, shit. Fucking gum. Oh, shit.
Hey, how did that miss? Oh, see, I get why that missed, but that first one, though, I don't get it. Me no understand, Mr. Mr. Shootman. Dodge that motherfucker. Oh, you cheeky dick waffle! Look at him taking it like a champ! Oh, fuck. Yo, okay, okay, okay. Okay there, buddy -o. You fucking weirdo. Yeah, that's right, go die in a fire. Basey motherfucker. I got one more of those fuckers that turns into a thingy ma boop. Soft cotton. Oh, that ain't good. to the giant roll away from him and heal. Well played, sir! <laughs> You're getting motion sickness right now because I'm back to starting to feel a bit of it myself. <laughs> My camera chasing that fucking giant. That was a good fight. Alright. So, yeah, the item I'm looking for. I actually know. Does it say Nafia's quest or Ronnie's? Finger Slayer Blade. What the hell is that sound that I'm hearing? And I'll read the item description in a second. Ah, my eye, it itches. Oh, hey, there's a thingamabob here. Okay. Yeah, I'll check that out in a second. I got a. a fucking hell, man. My frame rate just suddenly said, Nope! Screw it. Taking a vacation. Screw you. Right, we'll see where this takes us. Oh, pff. <laughs> Teleports me back here. Actually, I think that was the end of that area anyway. Excuse me. So. Yeah, I don't think we need to go back there. Why do I get the no? Because I got the I got the mimic tier and I got that item. Yeah, I think I got everything. Oops, didn't mean to do that. All right, so inventory. We have a key item, if I'm not mistaken. No, oh, yeah, I forgot to fucking 
get Radon's shit going. The hidden treasure of the eternal city of Nakron, a blade said to have been held born or had been born of a corpse. The blood drenched fetish is proof of the high treason committed by the eternal city in some places downfall. Cannot be wielded by those without faith, but is said to be able to harm the greater will and its vassals. Ooh, so this dagger's valuable. Seek the Divine Tower of Caled, which stands upon the precipice of the Dragon Barrow Shore. Alright, so yeah, we'll uh, quickly head over there. Get that knocked down. Yes, I remember I gotta kill that fucking douchebag. Or, you know, actually, I, I really like the uh, God Skins. I think they're one of the coolest enemies in the game. I'm not a fan of the God Skin Duel boss fight, mind you, but I still think individually, both bosses are fucking fun. Their theme song's great. Their abilities are great. Shit, like they are, they're fun to fight individually. But that duo boss fight, there's just there's no rhyme or reason for it. And the thing we've said for a lot of the duo boss fights, and it's like you know when you fight two, um, oh what the hell are those things called? The or the uh, the Gary Oldmans, as I like to call them, the ones that with the freaky like the they look like freaky ass cats. You know, it says they're watchdog watchdogs out there, earth tree watchdogs. Like pairing them up, I. Kinda get it, kinda get it, but at the same time, I still think it's it's just it's just there. It's a gimmick. It's not actually a fun boss fight or anything like that. Um, there's two Crucible Knights you fight, but that's a boss fight we won't actually. No, we might encounter that one sooner rather than later. Um, not a fan of it either. A lot of the duo boss fights in this game are actually shit. I'm not thinking about it. Either they're too easy or they're just really like dumb. Like they're hard for no fucking reason. The single boss fights, I mean, even with the, uh, like, I mean, I will at least give that to the uh, the Deathrite birds. And I think that might be why I struggled hard against them, just kept focusing on the head, when that was probably why I kept dying, because my camera was following the head. And so I was fighting the camera about as much as I was fighting um, the boss, if not more so than the boss. So, maybe I was a little too harsh on the uh, Deathrite birds, but we'll see how I do against, um, the, we'll see how things go with the, uh, I think there's two left. I want to say there's two left. All right, so we got Radon's Great Rune, which I will show you what that do. Uh, inventory is full. Man, I'm thinking of Warcraft 3, and it's, it really sucks. So when I think about like Warcraft, I think about Blizzard and what they've turned into, and it's just like, ugh, like, ugh, they just shudder. Um, ah, right, here we go. Radon's Great Rune raises maximum HP, FP, and stamina. So it's kind of a lesser version of this one, although I think it. Um, well, that one raises all attributes. I think this one has raises the HP, FP, and stamina more than what that one do. And then, you know, just use that one to, you know, rebirth. Which, oddly enough, that's the only one that you don't have to go to a Divine Tower to to get access. So, I, I find that interesting. Alright, so... Where the hell was I going to head to again after this? Alright, Ronnie. I want to see if she needs that dagger. I think that was the entire purpose was going to that city in the first place. Now, this isn't the end of her quest line, but we are definitely at the latter end of it. And if I'm not mistaken, that lift should still be up, not down, so... I need to make sure I don't <laughs> plummet to my death. Granted, it wouldn't be a big deal because, you know, there's a race right back there. Yep, thought so. I am growing really attached to this outfit, by the way. I don't know, there's a uh, there's a headset that I'm gonna get later on that I'm definitely gonna don. Um, I almost ran off the fucking ledge like an idiot, um, but I won't get that until like, damn, like way later on in the game. Ah, it was thee. Indeed. Not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber, I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally, all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Okay. Ah, but before I leave, I must entrust thee with this. Take it. What you got for me, Chief? Oh, okay. Now we have reason to go to that um, thingamabob. 
My discarded flesh lieth beyond the seal unlocked by Oh, we can get Ronnie's room. Upon which is carved the curse mark of thy desire. And the curse I mark. I can fathom what thy purpose might be. Neither of us is welcomed by the brighter path. I see. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. So, a little thing I hate about this game, or I don't hate it, I dislike it and disagree with it, is that, like, you have to constantly hit the button to, like, talk to them. I wish it would give you, like, a hint, hint, like, that's the end of the dialogue, instead of you having to constantly hit the talk button. Just to me, it seems like it would streamline the dialogue a lot better, and it would kind of, like, ruin the immersion that it has whenever you're talking to a AI or a uh, NPC, like... She should have given me all of that dialogue with, like, one button push. It should have been just one straightforward dialogue thing instead of me having to, you know, talk to her again. Now, granted, mind you, this is, like, the nittiest of nitpicks. It's not a big deal at the grand scheme, in the grand scheme of things, but it's just something I wish they would have done. What is it? Thy Wait. purpose in approaching me was to obtain the curse mark, was it not? I love you. You may leave now. But I love I you. I, too, am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. You asked me a question, you didn't even let me answer. You're a terrible wife. Hashtag worst wife ever. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Um, you know what? We're going to segue out of uh, the underground of Nocron there. And we're going to head to the study hall. And deal with one of the worst NPCs this game has to offer. Annoying would be more accurate. Like, I fucking hate this NPC. Um, yeah, 12, 12k at this point is not a big deal if I lose it. Like, hell, it, that's what, not even halfway to a level. Oops. Actually, though, actually, before I do that, let me see if there's anything I can buy off of, uh, dear old mommy. And by mommy, I mean the fucking, uh, the, the fucking, what the hell are they called? The finger crones or whatever? Always I refer to her as mother. Say that from now on, not mommy. That just ugh, sounds disgusting and creepy. Um, oh, yeah, Rogier. I need to talk to him to see if he's still alive and kicking. You there, madam. Uh, nope, nope, not that. Wait, hold on. I got four of these now? All right, yeah, I forgot I defeated the Regal Ancestor. Well, I didn't defeat the Regal Ancestor. Regal Ancestor pretty much defeated itself. Um, restores MP upon defeating enemies. I don't really care for that, and I'm never going to use that, so just hold on to that. Keep it as like a bank a bank note for uh, stuff. Um, I don't. I kind of want his armor, but I'm not gonna really wear it. But hold on, what else? Uh, I don't care about Queen America. Yes, yes. Let the word of the two fingers guide me. Blah blah blah. Showed up your old crony ass. You there, sir? You alive? How many fingers am I holding up? Can you count to ten? Can you count to ten backwards? Forwards? No? Okay. Yeah, he's, he's, he's dead. He's dead, Jim. I mean, the dude may as well be dead. Shit, we're down like half our NPCs already in this fucking area. <laughs> Uh, I don't need to speak to him. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to go talk to the finger crone ladies. See if there's any shit I can buy for them. No, uh, I don't care about these. I got nothing to offer. Kai. Okay. Don't I have a katana? Oh, I have at least one. Oh, my Reduvia is rank five, which... It's basically the equivalent of it being like rank 10 for like a standard weapon. Because I believe, yeah, boss weapons can only go up 10 levels. Death's Poker. Star Search Great Sword. I could have sworn I had. A, yeah, the Uji guitar. Wait, don't I have two of these? Oh, right, I have the Moon Veil. Holy hell. I didn't know I had that one. So I need Intelligence at 18 to use that one. I can use the Uji Tana, though. Uchi Katana, excuse me. Don't I have another one like the? It's like a shorter ver. It's like that offhand weapon that samurai have. I sworn I had that. 
Hmm. I guess not. Apparently not. Alright, uh, how many stones are we sitting on? TLDR, not a lot. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a metric ass load of these from you. I'll go with 30. And then I'm going to buy a metric ass load of these off of you. We'll go with fucking 16. And wow, damn, damn, I'm down to 82. Holy shit. Uh. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Now, for some reason, I got the song on Blue Bada Bida Bye Bye by Eiffel 60. 65, I think, is what they're called. Old 90s band. If you're familiar with them, hey, you're as old as me. If not older. But if you're younger and you've heard of them, hey, hats off to you. <laughs> as far as I know, that's the only song they're known for. So I guess it's a fair assessment to call them a one-hit wonder. Ooh, wow, yeah, I'm not doing so well with these. Yeah, I'll just use all these. Fuck it. I mean, fuck, we run into them left, right, and center. I took, you for dead I took me for dead, too, yeah. my guy. Like, holy shit, what the hell happened? Uh, where's my Uchi Katana? Oh, oh. oh let me say it right. Uchi Katana, not Uchi Katana. <laughs> Sounds like some stupid... Off-brand name. Yep, I need more runes. You there, give me more runes! Uh, I'll sell one of these. What level can I even get this thing to? Fuck, where'd it go? Yep, I need... I need to get that bell-bearing thing for the threes and fours. Actually, I might know where to get more threes. Alright, how much damage this weapon do? 205 plus 80, so 285. Get rid of that for now. Oh, also, get rid of those. Uh, my Uchi thingy. I'm just gonna call it a katana. Like. Fifty-five, fifty. That's two hundred and five. So uh, slightly less. But that one also has the passive buildup of blood. Uh, you there? Cool, no matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Can I duplicate? <gasps> I can. Uh, I want to duplicate that one. Yes. Oh, whoops. Cool, no matter. No matter. Lay out your arms. Uh, as the far. I forgot. I can change it to something. Now if I change it to a heavy, wow, I'll actually do less. Can I do a quality? Yeah, quality. No. Do I want quality? Or do I want, no. Oh, I can make it a blood-based weapon. But yeah, that scales more with arcane. It would lose the strength and dexterity buildup. Katana, that's 141 to 79. So that dude's 205. That would do. That would actually be an improvement. Yeah, by about 20 some odd damage. That would be an. Oh, wait, hold on. Am I reading that right? 141. So it would be 200. Yeah, it'd be like 230 ish. Or no. 40 because it's strike 30. Wait, oh. See, I suck at arithmetic. Now I gotta break up my phone and get me calculator. Oh, what the fuck? Phone, cooperate with me. Okay, let me do my calculators. Alright, so 141 plus 79. 220. So yeah, do 15 more damage. Uh, that one basically be just 185. That would be actually less than what I just calculated there. And the blood one, I think. Yeah, the blood buildup would be higher. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. We'll go with blood buildup. Now I got a blood katana. There's actually a katana you get called Rivers of Blood. That weapon is... I mean, criticize it all you want. Criticize the people that use it all you want. That weapon is fucking legit. 
That weapon is bad ass. All right, on to the study hall entrance. We're gonna have to confront fucking. Ba basically, I gotta confront. Um, oh, what's that fucking bitch's name from Harry Potter? The the one that wears pink. Dolores, Dolores Umbridge. That's her name. I basically gotta confront her. In fact, she is gonna make the thumbnail for this video. Also, shout out to that actress. She does a fantastic job of making me hate her characters. Like, I think she's a wonderful human. I'm sure she's a wonderful human being in real life, but her character, like, my god. <laughs> I hated her more than I hated Voldemort, than Malfoy, than Snape. Or actually, I didn't hate Snape. I just, like, I always thought there or I felt there was more to Snape than anything. And how you learn that there actually is a lot more to Snape. Like, the dude's, the dude's a fucking legend. Uh, where am I, where am I crossbow? Where's my Daryl Dixon at? Yeah, for now, I'm just gonna call my crossbow the Daryl Dixon. Like, where's my Daryl Dixon? Oh, shit. I need to buy more bolts. Need more bolts. Um. Actually, yeah, it might behoove me to put that away for now. I'm already breaking out your fucking mega bow, bitch. Oh fucking. High ground, Anakin. Okay, a grandpa. Anytime you want to come up these fucking stairs. Tell your fucking fanboy club to get the fuck over here. You missed, bitch. I should just stop focusing on people because I can't see shit. Screw it, I'm running to you. Sorry, I'm bringing the fight to you, clown. Fuck. Never mind, you're bringing it to me. Oh, you held that shit, didn't you? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, look! Grandpa's can run! Yeah, I hear you up there, you fucking clown. You pew lasers! You missed! Out. All right, fire one more. You bitch. Whoa, you guys were very in sync. That was actually impressive. <laughs> Carrying glintstone staff. Holy shit, it's dark as fuck! Speaking of which, it rained like hell earlier today. Like, it was dark as shit. I, I was scared. I was like, holy shit, we got a tornado coming, and then... There was some wind, there was some thunder, a little bit of lightning. Nah, I don't know. It was a good storm, though. I like good storms. Alright. Oh, there you are! Am 
Why did you unfocus on her? Now focus on Dolores on bridge. I know, I know it's painful to look at her. I get it. Why did you do that roll? Why did I do my roll? <laughs> Whoa, almost got me. Damn it, stop walking. Stop using your appendages. <laughs> oh! You almost got me. I'm gonna take down four. Oh, that's that ability she was using. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot you. Oh my god, how many of you clowns are there? Arr, I may as well kill all of you. Screw it! Everybody dies! And that's just round one with the lower zone bridge. We still gotta fight her a second round. And, like, by all rights, she should be a boss, because she's sweet. Like, I had an easy time with her, but I'm also, I came here, like, way later than I should have. But I also wanted to come here once I had that item from um, Ronnie, so that way I just did all this shit in one go instead of coming here, doing all this, and coming back, doing it all over again. So, saves you guys time and me time. Mostly me time, though. Because you guys can just skip the video if you're tired of me doing stuff, or if you want to skim over, like how uh, I'm sure some people do with those like hour long, two hour long videos where they just kind of skim over and get to their favorite parts and watch it from there. Oof! Fuck, I almost walked off to the edge there. I mean, not that I... Not that it'd be a big deal. Alright, yeah, I need to get to that ladder. No, rat! Oh, sweet. <laughs> I got the golden rune off him before he fell to his death. Oh, I missed one of the blue man group. I get a lot of 90s references. Item up here. Oh fuck! I forgot. There's more rats up here. Yeah, there's that item. Are there any other thingies? No. Okay. Cool. Not <laughs> something fell to its death. I <laughs> got the rats stood there for a second, like this motherfucker just shoot me with a crossbow. <laughs> That's Daryl Dixon looking motherfucker. Actually, I wonder if Daryl Dixon and Jinx would get along. Actually, I don't think they would. I think. Dare would be, like, disturbed by how unhinged she is. Uh, I'll look at that item as soon as I hop down from here. Uh, let me... Oh, cobwebs. That's a neat effect. Or, neat effect. That's a neat thing to include. Alright, let me just meander over here, and I think I'll take a little bit of falling damage if I hop down here. Nope. No falling damage at all. Alright. Oh, wait, hold on, where's that blue man I missed? You there, sir! You gotta die like the rest of your family. That's a really fucked up thing to say, but yes. You, sir! Ma'am, why you not redeem the card? I was actually watching Kit Boga earlier. The scammer he was fucking with, at least the one that I watched, I got popped there for like maybe 30 minutes. Like, the one he was, like, screwing with was just, like, cutting right to the chase. And it's just, like, he, he does, he, like, a kid bug was, like, literally just unsure of what the hell to do because the guy was just straight up, like, give me your bank account information, da da da. It's like, dude, come on. <laughs> like, give me some material to work with. And he was a rude motherfucker, too. Like, uh, you know, uh, he likes to, like, talk over the scammers and whatnot. And this dude was just, like, you know, you got a bitch. You motherfucker, you piece of shit. And it's just like, who the fuck? Like, if you're trying to, like, portray yourself as, like, a professional, um, 
helper or consultant or agent or whatever. Why are you talking like that? Like, how stupid are you? How unself-aware are you to, like, talk to somebody like that? And I know the idea is to be a scare tactic. And, like, you know, elderly people that, like, they have no idea about this shit. They're easily intimidated by people that are aggressive and angry and yelling and screaming in their ear. And they believe them. And of, it's no fault of theirs, of course. Because they don't know any better. It's the fucking scammers that are involved. Because the scammers know it very well what the hell they're doing. But with Kid Boga, it's like, you know, you get to see just how... Um, unaware they are of like how stupid they can be like if they fuck with the wrong person that's why I like people like Kid Boga, IRL Rosie there's a couple other scam um, anti-scammers that um, I'm sub to and it's just like you, you hear some of the shit these people say it's like yeah no wonder you guys wanna you know fuck with these people like they're assholes they're fucking terrible people like, I don't give a shit if that's, like, how you provide for your family. Like, it's, you're still a piece of shit. Alright, so what we gotta do now... <laughs> back up to 12k! <laughs> Literally back where we started. Alright, so we gotta put the item there. Oh, shit, we're gonna fight the Godskin Noble, I just remembered. Oh, this is gonna suck. Granted, it's not a boss fight, it's... It, I mean, it may as well be a boss fight, but it's not counted as one. Similar to how there's there's an encounter that you can have with um, another character we'll encounter later that we've already encountered before, but you do fight him again twice, in fact. But he shows up as like basically a mini boss. He doesn't have like you know the health bar at the bottom of the screen. Like he should have a health bar at the bottom of the screen. That would make that shit so much more cool, because. Like, you know, when, when I when I first played this game, right? My first blind playthrough. When he popped back up, I was like, yo, what? They have a recurring antagonist? Holy shit, I am here for it. But then I noticed, like, he just has, like, a regular health bar, like a regular enemy or whatever. And I'm just like, oh, okay. I shouldn't get too excited. He's just... And I thought it was actually a different guy entirely. Like, he's just, like, similar to the other guy. But then he shows up again, and I'm like, oh, shit. This dude's like the main fucking villain of the... Like, holy shit, a FromSoft game with a main villain? I mean, you know, the sponsor Sullivan and all that shit. And I don't know if there's like a main villain to Sekiro, but regardless, I was like, oh shit, that's cool as fuck. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, damn, I've only gone on for 40 minutes. I feel like I've gone on for almost an hour. I mean, 40 minutes is basically almost an hour, but yeah. Who did I buy? Oh, yeah, I think I buy them from the old ladies, the old crones. You know, I might just buy Radon's arm, arm, arm. Buy Radon's army. Let them do my fighting for me. Um, no, but I do want to buy more bolts. I can't buy bolts off of you. Oh, you suck. And I might cheat a little and look up where I get all these spell bearings, but I'm wagering a fair guess that I get them. Um, I want to say, like, after I pass through the lift... Uh, I don't need to talk to you for anything. Yeah, because I can't upgrade my weapons because the only stones I can buy are ones and twos, and it only gets me up to what? How far can I get my weapons up to? Like eight? No, oh, I can only get them up to six. Which is unacceptable. So, yeah, this broadsword is basically the best bet I got. Um, yeah, screw it. I'll buy Radon's armor. No, not that. No, 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 go forth. Go forth, my apprentice. Uh, yeah, there's Radon's armor. It make me look fat. Yeah, his armor is actually really, really good, but I'm not going to use it. I just wanted his war trophy in remembrance of Radon, because plus I'm wearing his gauntlets and boots anyway. Like, I'm pretty much giving him the Boromir treatment from Lord of the Rings. All right. So... Back to it. Actually, yeah, when I finished The Walking Dead, I I kind of felt like Negan was a bit neutered. Like, I know they're going for the whole redemption thing, but, like, when I read the comics and um, Kirkman kind of, like, wrote his character off, it's like, you know, his story's resolved. Him and Maggie were like, they kind of resolved their shit. Granted, Maggie, holy fucking Christ. Um, 
Maggie didn't forgive him per se because she was pretty much like you're, you're worse than dead like you're miserable you're suffering I'll leave you be and then Negan was just like alright that's how it's going to be that's how it's going to be but in the show oh in the, in the show like like some of the characters make some weird ass decisions and it feels like it feels a little forced like a little forced um isn't uh yeah I was going to say isn't uh what's her ass supposed to show up Oh, wait. Are you gonna walk to your death? By all means, stand there and take this shit. I feel like they're making me, um... Hey, no, don't get me wrong. I'm a big Negan fanboy and all that. But they, they, they put, like, Maggie and Gabriel in some, like, situations where, like, you're not supposed... Like, it's clear that you're not supposed to root for them, but it feels like a little forced because they're the characters I should want to... Whoa, whoa. They're the characters I should want to root for. Like, you know, people like Negan because he's funny and intimidating and he's a good villain. But you don't want him to win. You want him to, you know, you don't want him to be around and be entertaining and all that shit. And Jeffrey D. Morgan does a fantastic job of it. But, okay, she, she did her teleportation act. All right, so let's switch back to that. He's got those handsy McBad touches that are going to pop up all over my ass. All the sounds they make are creepy as shit, too. Like, even in Season 7 and Season 8, like, I, I was entertained by Negan. Like, I was genuinely entertained by Jeffrey D. Morgan's portrayal. I was entertained by him in the comics and everything like that. But I still wanted him to lose because I'm like, he killed Glenn. And, you know, in the show, he killed Abraham and Glenn. And I'm like, yeah, I want this dude to get his ass kicked in. Oh, shit, I forgot about you, clown. I got an itchy nose, leave me alone. What the hell were you aiming at? Monkey. We'll call that the law of equivalent exchange. <laughs> to say like all right so yeah she's dead never have to see her again until i start new game plus which i might do a new game plus for i don't know we'll think about it we'll think about it i'll think about it okay come on i have my shield out right all right now character tell me why didn't you block with your shield like here yeah see like that you're supposed to do it like that i like how i faced the room and i still took damage like, shouldn't we have damaged each other? Oops, wrong button. Uh, yoink. Yoink. Oh, shit. Down you go.
guys spawned over here, then there must be something to be had. Wait, do I gotta hop down there? Oh, yeah, I think I do. I think I'm supposed to. Uh, I'm not gonna take falling damage from this, am I? Nope. Okay, cool. So, let's see if memory serves. There's a th Yeah, I gotta get down there. Oof. Okay. Is there a ladder? Oh, no, wait, no. You hop onto the chandeliers, then you hop down there. All right, well, I'm, I'm doing it in, like, a roundabout way, I guess. Okay, down we go. Thankfully, there's no rats, because they all got turned upside down. Oh, item. Oh, shit. Hold on, can I... Okay. I would like to suggest that I give it to Halloween on his uh, playthrough this, because he got, he got fucking nervous as shit, like, you know, moving around this. You know, like, if you, uh... Crouch down, your character moves slowly, and you can more accurately navigate where you want them to go. He's like, oh, that's a fantastic idea. And I'm like, shit, I was kind of faxing there, wasn't I? But no, he, he actually appreciated the hint. Which, for me, if somebody told me that, I would appreciate it as well, especially with how, like, anxious I get with, like, high-up areas and parkouring over high areas. Like, that shit just fucks with me. So, yeah, I would appreciate it, but I understand why people, like, you know, they don't want people telling them what to do, how to do it, all that other stuff. I get it. Like, that is 110% fair. It's your stream. You should be able to enjoy your stream, and what other people want you to do shouldn't fucking matter. Oh, hey, look. Matches the weather outside right now. Although right now it's just kind of uh, dull and gray and kind of gloomy. It's all gloomy outside. What the hell is this? Yo, hold up. Hold the fucking front door. What the fuck is this text I just got? Oh shit, my calculator's still open. I'm F Maxwell Frost. Now that alt right fascist Madison Cawthorn was defeated this week in this primary. I'll be the youngest member to Congress at 25 years old. Good for you. When I'm elected to represent Florida, to, I don't give a shit about Florida, so, um, bye. Also, congrats on your election, dude. Or person, or whatever. Well, your name's Maxwell. I'm assuming you're a dude. Uh, yeah, let's rest here, because, uh, we got a mini-boss ahead, but it may as well be the actual real-deal boss. Actually, can I ride? I can't, but it's not going to do any good against this fight. But it will help me get two said fights a little bit quicker. Thank you for the rune fragments. Three, two, one, and right on cue. Aw, oh, it doesn't play the music. Oh god, I do like no damage to this guy. fucking range on that shit. I got flames of fire. That doesn't make any sense. No, it wasn't related to any song or anything like that. It's like, oh, you're gonna run away from me, huh? <laughs> he tried to backhand me. <laughs> oh shit! I mean, at least I blocked it, but oh shit! Yo, his, I think his is a little bit more delayed than the other guys. Why did I do that?
Homeboy hasn't even broken into fucking phase two yet. <laughs> He's kicking my ass. Trying to pimp slap me? Do I look like a hoe to you? Oh shit. Alright, let me hide over here. He's going to roly poly mode. Yeah, we might be here a minute. We might be here a minute. <laughs> Oh, sure. I can, he, he can hit me behind the wall. Oh, really pulling him out again. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> he dick. <laughs> Wait, why is he in phase two already? God damn it. Fucking wind ups. At. Oh shit. Wait. <laughs> he spawned. Oh, can I? My cheese is a little shithead. Come on. Come on, get it get in get in range. Get in range. Come on. You can do it. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. God damn it. I <laughs> fucking fireball attack. Oh, I like how his arm went through the barrier. Gotta love that shit. Easily my favorite attack this guy has. That shit is so fucking funny. <laughs> legs.
Oh shit, shit. Oof. Oh! Opportunity. An opportunity arises. Alright, round three. Let's go. Fuck it. I'm using all the shit at my disposal. Like, it's been a good fight. I mean, I'm giving him a run for his money. Hell, he's giving me a run for my money. Oh, wait, I don't even have enough to use it, so never mind. Uh, alright, so, wait with you then. Oh, you cheeky shit! game, sir. And I get the gut skin stuff. Woohoo! <sighs> I cheesed it a bit, but hey. <laughs> it was a good fight. I still, I still fought on mono -e mono for the most part. Like, I want to say 80% of that fight was mono. No, 85% of that was mono -e mono And thankfully he does not respond. I wanted to finish him off with the crossbow, but oh well. I actually thought he was going to kill me there for a second. I legit thought that he's like, oh, you think you're funny. You think you got jokes. Nope. Slap. <laughs> I got lucky on that one. That fucking rolling attack always just, gets, just tickles me. It's so fucking funny. It's actually very easy to uh, deal with as well, because all you got to do is roll into it and just let him strafe around you. And then once you do that, it's pretty simple. But yeah, of the two, I think Noble's probably my favorite. And despite his appearance where he looks like fucking huge and shit, he's not actually that fat. It's just he's wearing so much of the god skins on him that he looks that way. Like, I think him and the uh, Apostle have basically the same physique. Like, they're slender and whatnot, but the Nobles kill so many gods that, you know, he's a bigger dude. Okay, up, up, up the stairs with Darrow. Not sure, that tunnel. Yes, process. Oh, wait, no. Do I get the Mark of Death? Yeah, Curse Mark of Death. Okay, so this, yeah, this ties into uh, Fia's quest line. Because I gotta give it to her when I get to the area where she's at. Fia's quest line's actually not that uh, long now I'm thinking about it. Um, Stargazer raises intelligence. The young astrologer gazed at the night sky as she walked. She had always chased the stars every step of her journey. Then she met the full moon, and in no time, the astrologer became a queen. Oh, so it's referring to, uh, Renala. And yeah, there's, uh, Ronnie's actual physical body. Or they burned her. Or, I don't know if she burned... No, I think she burned herself. Because she... She is basically in 100% in opposition to the Greater Will, which the Greater Will is who the Two Fingers answer to. Um, and, you know, they're the ones trying to get us to become the new Elden Lords so that we can replace, um, Marika, I believe. Yeah, that's what they want us to replace, is Marika. So they want us to be the new Elden Lord. So that way, business as usual can resume. The status quo can continue its shit. 
Um, so that's actually, I think, Lagernia. Nope, actually, no, we still got this upper area to explore, which that comes. That's actually at the latter end of Ronnie's quest line. But, uh, um, yeah, as far as, like, the new stuff we can do here, that's pretty much it, aside from, you know, going up to this lift. But I won't be doing that for a little bit. How long am I going for? An hour and six? Hmm. So, I need to remember. So my business in, no, my business in Knock Runs is not done, I don't think. Oh, wait, no, is it? Is it? Give me a second, folks. Yeah, and I hopped over there. I did all that. Knockbook facing cliffs. Ancestral woods. Yeah, because that's all that wooded area. Basically, it's, it's more or less a copy of like what's down here. Yeah, actually, I think I am done with the Nocron. Yeah, I think I am done with this area. Like, 100% done. I mean, there might be an item here or there that I missed, but yeah, for the most part, I'm done with that. Holy shit. Yeah, so we actually need to go over here. Damn, I didn't think I'd get through it that quick. I mean, I knew it would be like a video, but I didn't think I'd be done with it. Like, man, pretty much half of it. Oh, actually, no. We were in there for the bulk of this video, were we not? I think we were. All right then, so we got these ants to contend with. The ants boys, the ant men. All right, so there are some items and whatnot. Uh, you know what, fuck it. Get down here, you assholes. Yeah, that's right, come here. No, don't spew your acid at me. Jesus. Hey, you. Get off there, that's unhealthy. OSHA filed a complaint. They don't want ants in on these walls. Or caverns, or whatever. Grace Mimic? Hello! How are you, madam? I can almost get you to it. Meh. Oh, that's the way forward. And the way is shut. Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa, where did you two assholes come from? Oh. Kinky. I wondered what would break first. Your spirit or your body? I can't see shit in here. Something's coming. Oh, fuck, it's another ant. Can I get like a second? Actually, let me. No. Oh, let me go ahead and put that away. That's better. I can see again. Yay! Oh wait, hold on, were they, yeah, okay, it was the ants that were, like, grazing over here. Yeah, they're basically eating all these, well, what's left of these dead people? If 
I'm not mistaken. There are some basilisks ahead. Maybe not. Oh, there's just some queens. Oh yeah, I see all you little shitheads. Bonk. Yeah, I pissed them off. <laughs> One at a time, gentlemen. Doesn't one of those fucking thingamabobs show up here? Like, shoot all the gravitational bullshit at me? Apparently not. Spitting stone four. Always good to have. Hey, boo boo. I got one of those spitting stone fours. I nabbed it from one of those picketing baskets. see me. <laughs> They're like, oh, who's that woman up there? Oh, she is almost naked. Oh, we must breed with her. Okay, I'm making this shit weird as fuck. Um, so I actually think I need... Do I need to go back there? I don't know if I need to go back there or not. Maybe? I don't know. You know what? Screw it. Let's hop down here. What's up, shitheads? Oh, wow. Oh, that's fucking adorable. You can roll. <laughs> Thanks for dragging me. Yo! You guys hit like trucks. Well, not really, but yeah. Yeah, there is. Let me guess, contraption does not work. Oh, nope, it works. Cool. Holy crap, there's a lot of you. Jet. Yo, yo, what is that combo, my guy? Just kept stabbing the ground repeatedly. Backstab. I see you hiding in the corner there. Wait, hold on, what? Are you stuck? Well, not anymore. Yeah, the PC version of this game's got some, like, derby glitches. Like, the PS4 one, the only real problem I had with it was the loading screens. So, like, there's some really derpy shit going on with the PC version. Okay, now let me see if there's a set of grace beyond here. I see more of those mudmen. Oh, you caught your god! I was counting how many times he's gonna step the ground. 
Because I know that other one said it like, what, five, six times? Give or take. Oh, no, this is where the gravity douchebag is. Yeah, you see that fucker up there? Yeah. Keep you! I know there's a merchant beyond there. Shit, hi. Oh, sweet, the meteors hit them too. Oh, what are you gonna do to me? Oh, let's buy me a drink first, there, buddy boy. Ha! <laughs> Get wrecked, douchebag. Oh my god, there's so many bubbles! Fucking Dory would be like having a heart attack or shit. Over here! That bubble's following me! It's notice me. It's like I'ma get you. I'ma get you, bitch. <sighs> Hopefully, that's the last of these jokers. Cause my God. Oh no, nope, there's one more left. I'ma let him live. Oh no, there's still- oh, fucking hell. Yo, what the fuck? I was rolling. I'm gonna hide over here. Hey, Mr. Merger, can I hide with you? We can be friends. Oh, I found a map. Sweet. Woohoo! Jump for joy! I didn't mean to do that. Is someone there? No! A customer? No! Well, how long has it been? Hurry up, there's a mud chasing me. What do you got? I'll take that. And that. And that. I don't care for either of those. I don't care for those. I don't even carry out the chefs. Ah, mm. No. I think I already got one anyway. And I'm not too worried about any of that nonsense. And the only positive of buying that shirt is the side boob you get. Oh, look at you, summoning bubbles to attack me. Yo, one bubble at a time, douchebag. Damn it. <laughs> I thought that thing despawned already. I guess it was wrong. Wait, hold on. Where the hell did that one ass hat go? 
Yo, where did, uh... Oh, there he is. What's up, ugly? Oh my god, there's still another one of you clowns left. Yeah, well, you might get hit by the rocks, sir. Uh. Never mind, I killed you. It doesn't matter. Holy shit, how many of you fucks are there? Three of them just chilling up there. <laughs> what the hell? Yo, that thing really does not like me. I get the feeling that thing really does not like me. How are there still more of you jokers left? Holy shit. How many of these fucks are there? I'll heal up. I got an abundance of those. Bang, 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 bang. Is that a grace? Hell yes, let's go. Dance for me. I'll ignore the there. Okay, I just pissed him off. He's like, no! Hard meal! You damn human! Rise of fun. Oh wait, I think this is where I run into oops, wrong button. I think this is where I run into the damn basilisks. Yep, I hear him. Oh shit. Hi. How you doing, buddies? Hello, friend. Look at all the pretty butterflies. Oh, wait. Fucking new. Holy shit. Holy hell. I got soap. Yo. Give me all your butterflies. Oh, this looks like hell. Guys, I think we found hell. <laughs> like, fucking look at this place. That's like a nope's fill if I've ever seen one. Like, want nothing to do with that shit. Oh, thank you, sir. Actually, I think I'm coming up on a boss fight, if I'm not mistaken. Ants. Or antelones. Or antelopes. 
What do you call it when two ants get married and abscond with each other? An antelope. You know, instead of eloping, the antelope. Yeah, you get it. Sorry, the joke made sense in my head. But if I had to explain it, then obviously it wasn't a good joke. A melted mushroom. Times three. I got three melted mushrooms. My quest for the mushrooms has finally concluded. Not only are they mushrooms, but they are melted. They are melted mushrooms. Yeah, I remember this. This is a boss arena. So, I'm going to pull a complete and utter bitch move, and I... F yes, we, f we fucking know that. I'm going to pull a complete and utter bitch move, not fight the boss yet. Uh, I want to cash in those runes on something. Uh, might be a level up, might be some items, we'll see. I'll probably, if, if it is some, if it is a level, because I know I got to... I'm not... Wait. Hold on. Did I lose runes? No, okay. It, that's weird. Why does it do that? Hold on. 15, 744. 15, 744. Why does it retally them? That's so bizarre. Okay, so yeah, when I killed the fucking dragon, then it wasn't recounting them. It was just dialing them back. That's so weird. I don't know why it recounts them back up. Actually, how much would I need for a level up anyway? <laughs> Damn, I'm halfway there. Um, yeah, I might do a little bit of off-screen grinding just to get that one level up. Or actually, where would I even spend it? Anyways. Strength is a big maybe. Endurance is another maybe. I could go with boosting my dexterity. Vigor, may, vigor's, vigor is what it is. Because even though it's like, you know, you have 896 life points, it's really... The most you're going to get out of your vigor, I want to say it caps out at like 50 or something like that. The most you get out of it, holy shit, I didn't realize how dark it was. Well, then again, it's all dark and gloomy and shit outside again, so... Um, the most hits you'll get out of your vigor from like bosses and whatnot is maybe three hits. Like three hits and you're dead. So that's why I haven't really touched Vigor as much as I normally would on, like, Dark Souls or anything like that. Um, like, I'm, I am I do definitely need to upgrade it. That's for sure. That's a gimme. You do need to upgrade your Vigor. But generally, when it comes to bosses, for the most part, you're going to get three hits maximum. And if they get that third hit in, you're basically dead. Um, you could almost think this as your error bar. How many errors can you make before you're basically dead? But... Um, yeah, the main thing to focus on, at least for me when it comes to leveling up a character, is know how you want to build your character. Pick a weapon that's really good, which this... The sword has actually outlived its usefulness for the most part, but it's still serving me really well. Which is why I'm sticking to it, plus I can't mass buy or mass produce the uh, three, four, five, or six um, smithing stones, which once I can, holy shit, I'm going to be... I will definitely do a lot of off-screen grinding just to get those stones. I'm not going to do it for leveling, per se, because I want, I want you guys to see my character grow on screen, which is why I don't like doing um, off-screen leveling, even though I have done it before in the past, and I do feel the inclined to do it in here, in this playthrough, in this game, but I don't like doing it, because I feel like you're missing out on uh, the experience of my character going through, getting stronger, all that other stuff. With Smithing Stones, though, it's just me gathering items. Like, that's the best way I can summarize it, it's just I'm gathering items. Um, and obviously it'd be boring as shit to watch me, you know, grind for hours and upon hours for rooms to buy stones. And it's like, it's shit that you can do on your own while you have something playing in the background. Um, but yeah, um, otherwise this has been one of the more productive videos I've done. Granted, actually each video I've progressed for, I don't feel like I've done any regression in the 26 now videos I've done. So yeah. That said, folks, I've been Devil Jinx, and I'll see you all next time. And I'm probably going to turn on the light if I do another video. So, see ya. Bye!